Hello, Capricorn. It's good to see you. Welcome to your reading. Yeah. Timeless reading for the energy, the sign, the constellation of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, maybe even South Node. This could be something you're dealing with personally. This could be involving someone you are closely connected to. Um, even if that connection is temporary, you know, uh, transitory. Um, this could also be something going on with someone you are closest connected to. Not that you're going through it, but they are. And somehow you're involved. Or you could just be cross-watching. Yeah. All right, Cap, where do I begin? Um, I've been picking up a, a number of things for you. And the dialogue was going in my head before, <laughs> before I started recording. So let's see if I can recapture it. First thing is... I'm picking up... Um, Response, picking up on responsibilities for you. This is not out of the ordinary. We are speaking with Capricorn here, right? Um, somehow, some way, responsibilities, whether you are a responsible person or not a responsible person, the theme of responsibility plays a role in your life somehow. And that is the focus for your energy at this moment. Um, specifically, what I'm strongly picking up on here for you is there is a level of release from certain responsibilities. Uh, I want to also say there is an opportunity to release yourself from certain obligations and or responsibilities you may have been holding or you may have been requiring yourself to hold to, if that makes sense. Uh, this feels like it is connected to the fact that in terms of true sidereal astrology, which is the form of astrology that I uh, practice and focus through, um, when I work with astrology, um, in terms of true sidereal astrology, Cap uh, Saturn, your ruling planet, is about to move from your sign, its home sign, one of, its home signs of Capricorn, and into its second home sign of Aquarius. Um, and this is where this shift feels like it's coming in for you, because there is a feeling of relief of some sort of pressure as once Saturn and as Saturn moves from Capricorn into Aquarius. Some of the pressure may be relieved off of your shoulders. It, that, may be, that, that could be what's going on right now. That's what I feel like is going on right now. <laughs> Sorry. Some of the weight is being lifted off your shoulders. Uh, it, it, specifically, though, this feels like turning your attention from the responsibilities that you hold outside of yourself in terms of like your community think of it this way uh capricorn is the ruler of the 10th house and so with so so with saturn being in capricorn again tr true sidereal astrology with saturn being in capricorn this is like a 10th house energy or at least this is what i'm feeling for you some of you may have some sort of 10th house activation going on here there could be a transit through your 10th house whatnot whatever or it just could be in general capricorn uh, uh is the ruler of the 10th house so this could be bringing up 10th house situations what do i mean by that your public image how you um, are seen and perceived of by your people but by, by the community by people around you your reputation and in, in, in somehow this level of responsibility here or the focus on relieving some sort of pressure or stress off of you has something to do with your reputation dominantly it feels like how people have known you okay whether that's good or bad in, in, in terms of this, in terms of some form of responsibility, again, a responsibility that you have held, long time, long standing held, or a responsibility you have required yourself to hold to, to, to hold to that you never seem to have been able to do. It has always been a shortfall for you, shortcoming for you. Um, and now, regardless as to however this looks for you, the pressure is being relieved. And it feels like with Saturn moving into Capricorn, from Capricorn into Aquarius, there is a feeling of benevolence here that says, whoa, wait a second. 
and you instead of focusing so much on how other people see you and how what your reputation looks like or how it is you have always shown yourself or or presented yourself you're kind of turning your attention towards yourself here and saying wait a second does this actually benefit me that's what the feeling of aquarius is bringing into your reality with saturn moving into aquarius soon i don't know exactly when that's going to happen but it's happening soon I don't know, within the next few weeks, within the next few months, something like that. But, Capric but, but keep in mind, Saturn has been at the very end of Capricorn for a while. It did go retrograde backwards, and now it's been moving forward for a few months now since its re last retrograde motion. And from in this forward or, or direct motion, it's going to be moving into, again, true sidereal astrology. It's going to be moving into the constellation of Aquarius. And at this point, it's like basically on the cusp is what I'm feeling here, or I'm feeling this cusp energy, and I'm feeling this is starting for you now, Capricorn. And, and the ironic thing about all of this is that with this sense of relief of pressure, for some of you, there is mounting anxiety because of it, <laughs> as a direct result of it. Because ultimately, I want to say, you don't know what to do with yourself now about this or with this. There is some sort of structure that you have held to or have been held to by the judgments of others, basically, that is now dissolving. And yes, Capricorn, you are a cardinal sign. So if anybody of the, of the Earth signs is going to be able to uh, uh, deal or handle, deal with or handle a... I'm sorry, you're not... Yes, that's right. It, well, okay, really it would be the mutable sign, Virgo. But also, you should, you, technically, as a cardinal sign, you would have an easier time. You're second in the running in terms of having, a, uh, having an easier time, of course, of the Earth signs with some sort of sh changing, solidified structure, whether that be a belief system, um, an emotional thing, or something actual in the physical world, okay? But you don't feel like you're having a good time with this. This, this is, has all to do with your reputation, is what I want to say. So Capricorn, you're going through what all of us are, many of us, or at least all of us that really connect in, on this channel, right? We're all going through this, some big change and it's unsettling, okay? Uh, it's that moment where we have crossed from one energetic reality one energetic vibration into the next and in this and in this case this is crossing from one vibration into another vibration and this next vibration is higher okay uh, a higher frequency not necessarily to say that it's better or it's worse that's not the point the point is that it's a higher frequency and so you are learning how to acclimate to this higher frequency. And with this higher frequency, Capricorn, comes a level of benevolence that you get to hold for yourself now. For some of you, this could be a situation in which you are moving from a lesson of love, right? In which, in some really extreme cases, this lesson of love can push you into the depths of martyrdom, right? Where you're giving of yourself so much that you are completely depleted right and you have nothing left to give well from there that's when you start to wake up and be like wait what about me and you start to realize i cannot be of service to these people i cannot give to people to these people at least if i'm not first giving to myself and making sure myself is full and that's where you start to rise into the lesson of wisdom which is again a higher frequency well th love is the highest frequency but uh, uh, these lessons in terms of the steps of these lessons you learn this lesson of love where you start to you where you learned how to give to other people how to give share love with others but in again in extreme cases you go you get pushed to the point where you're giving too much and that's where you how you learn how you start to learn to to reel that in a little right okay benevolence here capricorn but the problem is there is a struggle here and we're going to talk about that struggle why are you anxious about this it's so ironic if the pressure is being relieved from you if the pressure is being taken off of your shoulders why are you getting anxious about it? <laughs> and i'm not judging you i'm like I, like this is what i feel like you're asking yourself if you're conscious of this some of you are conscious of what is happening and you're like whoa i'm freaking out about it others of you don't know what's happening you you're not conscious of it yet and that's only compounding, impacting this level of anxiety that's building.
you are learning to acclimate to a level of reality that is much more benevolent. There's more benevolence here. There's more love here. There's more compassion here. There's more understanding here in this energetic vibration, in this level, which means there is more to give around. So whereas in the past, all of this benevolence and understanding and care was being used for everyone else around you, so to speak. But now that you've crossed into this higher level of awareness, I'm kind of seeing the hanged man in my head now, but now that you've crossed into this higher level of awareness, it's like, well, wait a second. I deserve some of that too. And thus the pressure is being relieved from your shoulders. Two more shuffles. 1044, 144, okay. This is a good thing. This is that higher frequency. This is that 144. What I consider, many people say, the 144, 144,000 hertz is the frequency of the twin flame, 144,000 specific light workers, blah, blah, blah. I see it more as just a frequency, like anything else, that is a very strong and prominent, dominant and important frequency on this planet at this time. But I also believe that anybody can tune to that frequency. And I'm starting to understand that that frequency is uh, a, um, I guess I want to say a ref representation of unconditional love. It's, an, it's a frequency. I'm not going to say it's the frequency. I'm going to say it's a frequency attuned to unconditional love that we on this planet at this current time in human development, human uh, psyche development and consciousness, deve consciousness development um, are specifically able to tune to to learn better ways of love, to get closer to love, to, to embody more of the frequency of love. Last shuffle here, Capricorn. That all came from the fact that I looked at the clock and it was 1044 minutes into this video. Okay. Capricorn, what's going on with this anxiety? Knight of Swords reversed is the first card and then Strength reversed. Okay, everything is reversed right now. I just heard leave it. Okay. I also see the King of Swords reversed down here. Not going to take it, but it's an important thing to understand. Um, because the first two cards that have come out here for you are, are Strength Reversed and the Knight of Swords Reversed. And really, what this is saying to me, Capricorn, is you just don't know what to do with this right now. And so you very well may be on the defensive. But really, the dominant thing here is that I'm getting is that you, it's like you're laying down your sword. You're laying down your fight. You may be laying down your crusade even. Okay? I kind of... Mm. Hold on. I am kind of seeing this as a surrender, as a ceasefire. Maybe not a full surrender, but at least a dropping of arms. Uh, in terms of something you were fighting for or keeping up with, is what I want to say, okay? Knight of Swords reversed. And then Strength reversed is like, I'm literally hearing Capricorn, I don't know what to do with this power. Some of you may find yourself in a much more powerful place. You're feeling empowered. Empowerment, a new sense of empowerment. Yeah, Capricorn. And this energy is misplaced or you don't know how to handle it. You don't know where to put it. You don't know what to do with it. Ah, the Seven of Swords, but the Seven of Swords came out upright. Uh, not seeing clearly defensive actions something about being stolen from not wanting to be stolen from you may find yourself in this new powerful energy and and recognizing what it is and what it truly means to you and not want it to be stolen hyper vigilant in this sense someone actually has been stolen from in some cases Ooh, and that could be the smoking gun that you needed for you to change your perspective here and start thinking about, well, whoa, wait, wait a second, what about me? Some of you may are realizing, ah, I just saw a water spigot, a water spout being turned off, intentionally being turned off. That's emotion, technically. Um, it's also nurturance. However you nurture someone, whether this is, you know, with, 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 
physical love and care or just grace or like and grace or whatever like emotional physical whatever being turned off because now you're recognizing how you it, uh, i just heard besmirched or maybe the the term was usurped how you were being taken advantage of capricorn yeah the sun is reversed here next Oof. okay Four of Pentacles, Five of Swords reversed. And now I'm going to turn the rest of the deck upright. We do have the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck for you. You know, in the center of all of this, Capricorn, is deception. The only thing that is upright here is the deceptive energy, the Seven of Swords, and it's right in the center. Around it, obviously, you do have strength in reverse. Knight of Swords in reverse. We talked about that already. But then, on top of it, on top of this Seven of Swords, you have the Sun reversed, the Four of Pentacles reversed, and then finally the Five of Swords reversed. Now, I want to point out, Capricorn, that the good thing here is this Sun. I know it's reversed. It doesn't matter that it's reversed. It's here. It's still good. And it still means that awareness is coming to the situation. Uh, this is the benevolent energy. Believe it or not, Capricorn, this sun right here is the benevolent energy that's allowing you to drop your arms somehow. Keep up the fight no more is what I just heard. Liter like literally, this Capricorn, this feels like an energy where... If this was an extreme, like this was like a really, something you were really, uh, I really want to call it a crusade. And I don't mean that um, uh, uh, offensively. I don't mean that in a derogatory way. Uh, you know, I'm, I, that's what, it, you know, it's something that you really stood for. You really held up. Whether it's a belief, whether it was a, a, a rift between or like a, a disagreement, some, so, some sort of friction between you and someone else, even if you were in the right. From that level of consciousness that you were in at that time, you were absolutely 100% like balls to the wall correct in holding up whatever stance you were holding up. But the, the thing about it is Capricorn, you yourself, if you are experiencing this right now, you have crossed from one level of consciousness to a higher level of consciousness in which in this higher level of consciousness, this shit doesn't matter anymore. It just don't matter. There's the benevolence. The benevolence is so strong here in this level of consciousness that there is no need to fight for this any longer. You have the grace and the forgiveness, I guess you want to call it, or, or, or the compassion, the understanding. You need to let this go. And there is so much of this in abundance here. You also have enough to allow that to flow to the, whomever it else is involved with this in a detached manner. Just allow it to just let it flow. The more you let go of it, the more you can let, let go of it when it comes to them. And then the, the more they can be energetically released. It flows from you to the next. And the, the more it just keeps pouring into you and pouring into you and pouring into you, healing you, healing you, healing you. And as, as that happens, it overflows. It's infinite. There's no stopping it. The only way you can stop it is if you literally cut it, cut it off yourself. So maybe that spigot that I was seeing before was you cutting off that line. Maybe this spigot I'm seeing is the line from the big source that you cut off yourself. And for some of you, I'm feeling it's because you felt you had a right to, you had a need to, you had a desire to. That desire could just be, let me cut this off right now for a minute so I can experience what it feels like to not have it. So, that I, can, so I can appreciate it more. Okay. That could be manifested in so many infinite ways in different lives and circumstances. That could be the core of this situation. Okay. It's time to let that go now, though. Whoop. You are. You, are re you have received what it is you needed to receive in this situation. You fought for it long and hard. You were diligent. This is some Capricorn-ish type energy. Obviously, technically, this is Virgo with this Knight of Pentacles. But it being a Pentacles suit, it's Earth. that it could represent you as well, Capricorn. You were digil diligent here. Diligent. <laughs> diligent. Vigilant and diligent. There we go. Yeah. But then the anxiety started to strike. Nine of swords because it was time for you to just walk away and let it go. Let the past be 
the past and let the shit balance out. Six of Cups, Justice, the High Priestess. There, this is your higher self, your guides, your ancestors, your way showers, God themselves. <clears throat> saying to you, there's something more. The High Priestess. And then here you are with, oh shit, let me find that. Page of Swords, the Hermit, King of Cups, the Moon, the Moon here. See, the Moon is showing up, but the Moon is upright. Obviously, I turned the deck around, but it's, it's, it's connected to the Sun. The Sun is reversed because there is an awareness coming in from the Moon, through the Moon. Or some, something is being, something that was shaded is now being revealed. And the focus here is in the moon. The focus here is internally. The focus here is the self. And the King of Cups is very important here because the King of Cups represents the emotional foundation, fortitude, maturity, availability, responsibility to handle going within. Because remember Capricorn, I was saying the pressure is being relieved off your shoulders. And now this is like a situation where it's like, whoa, 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 wait a second. How do I give myself this grace too? I deserve this. I need a little grace here. I'm starving for grace. Well, you cut yourself off. Okay, that's fine. You can reinstate it. But reinstating it is going to take a certain level of emotional responsibility that not many people are willing to take up. Because then that could mean friction with others. To say the least for example. But this King of Cups is like, gosh, that sucks. And I don't mean to sound like an asshole, but like really, that has nothing to do with me. I know who I am. I'm setting my values. I know that I'm holding this boundary here because I need to respect myself in this way. And I'm sorry that it hurts you. I, I legit, I am sorry. I, I, I wish this didn't have to hurt you. It's not like I'm intentionally trying to hurt you, but this is what needs to happen right now for my own self. And either the person can be like, yeah, okay, I understand. Or they can go off in a huff. And you know what? If they go off in a huff, King of Cups says, okay, I hope you can find peace. But that has nothing to do with me. I can't change that for you. You're going to have to go off and handle that on your own. And hopefully we can come back to the table. We can come back together and maybe we can discuss this again. Or maybe we can just let it go and still be friends or be whomever. But I can't heal that for you. King of Cups, the Hermit. I need to work on healing myself too. Or at least, I just heard, I need to be available to heal myself too. I can do that in conjunction with you, but I need to have the time. I need to have the space for it. Think of it this way. Look at it this way. You want me to be there for you? Allow me to be there for myself, please. And thank you. That's where the pressure is being relieved off your shoulders, Capricorn. And some of you are anxious as fuck. Mm -hmm. But it's okay because you're allowed to be anxious. And I was just saying this to someone in a personal reading yesterday. The anxiety is not that big of a thing. The anxiety is just an indicator, okay? It's showing you where there is a misalignment in your energy. It's showing you where there is disharmony. For any of my musicians out there or my dancers out there or my, my musically, artistically inclined people, if you listen to a set of notes musical notes that are disharmonic. It feels off. It makes you feel tense. Whereas if you hear a harmonic set of notes, it feels good. It feels wonderful. It's, it, it's inspiring. Like it literally, in some cases, it just feels good in your body. Well, the tenseness, the icky, the, the, the harsh feeling, the, the awful feeling of disharmonic notes, that's the anxiety. That's your, those are your senses saying to you, hey, whoa, something's not right here. And it's not meant to be a situation that then 
ramps up and ramps up and ramps up because you're so focused on what the anxiety, the anxiety. How do I treat the anxiety? The anxiety is an indicator. So instead of getting so focused on the actual feeling of the anxiety, instead use the anxiety to point you in the direction of the disharmony. That's what needs to be fixed, not the anxiety. The anxiety is just a symptom of that over there that is, that's creating friction. And for you guys, for somebody here, this anxiety in terms of this pressure being relieved off your shoulders is very natural also in the fact that you are learning to acclimate to a new vibrational reality. And it's going to be shaky in the beginning. This is that page of pentacles energy that I have said in the past where like you've leveled up into a new reality. Let's say you got a, you got a promotion in a company you've been working for for years. But now you're in a higher position. So it's the same company. Yeah, that's familiar. But this is a new job now. A new title. A new set of responsibilities. A new set of goals. And so you're going to have to put your training wheels back on for a hot second just to get acclimated. That's where some of this anxiety is coming from too. Don't worry about it. Allow yourself to settle into the energy. Allow yourself, give yourself the time to feel it out, to learn about it, about it, to become familiar with it. This new energy, this new environment that you're in. Give yourself the grace. The first way you start giving yourself grace is giving, allowing yourself to naturally acclimate to this new energy. If you just allow yourself to settle in, I know you're feeling anxious, but allow yourself to feel through the anxiety and settle in and you will naturally harmonize to the situation given the proper time. It's like a plant that's growing. You can't force it to fruit before it's ready. You've got to give it the time to really grow the root system to be able to support the fruit first, right? Okay, Capricorn. I think that's good. I love you guys. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I'm open for private readings if you're interested. Description box below. Information is there. Also, check out Patreon. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. That's also in the description box below. I love you. Bye. <laughs> oh, okay, bye.